time for question of the week again and this question comes from Facebook from Debbie and I'm going to read it to you now it says are there accidental deaths for example a mother goes to the store ignoring her intuition to stay home and her baby is killed by a drunk driver could it have been avoided or is it just how it was meant to be this is the biggest question I've always had about death so I'm going to tell you what my experience has been with that and what my guides have shared with me and those who are on the other side uh, it might be challenging for you to hear, especially if you lost someone from what you deemed a tragedy or an accident, um, like it, it shouldn't have happened. The first thing I want to say is that no, my experience is that no one leaves this planet a moment before their soul has decided it's time to leave. Uh, from the perspective of soul, there is no such thing as time. And so the soul can interject itself at any moment to divert an accident, to change the course of events. Um, that is absolutely the power that the soul has. And so how can we ever assume that an accident can ever occur? Uh, the soul knows exactly when it's going to enter this earth realm and when it's going to leave this earth realm. And the soul is in complete and total charge of when that happens. So we've all heard about miracles of when an angel interceded or someone um, didn't want to get on that airplane before the airplane crashed. These are examples of how that soul was not ready to leave the planet at that time. And so the intuition was unavoidable. It was also... Uh, inter it, it interacted with this reality to keep that person from doing so. It, it could be the person maybe was deathly sick and wasn't able to get to the airport, or they were stopped by a train and they avoided a traffic accident. So there really is no potential for accidents to occur. Now the painful part of that is I deal with a lot of people who come in with grief because they feel like their child or their loved one was robbed of the rest of their life. And the one thing I can tell you is that no soul has ever come to me and said, I was robbed of the rest of my life. The only souls I've ever heard anything that comes close to that kind of energy are souls who actually took their own life. But even those souls are welcomed, open-armed into the world of spirit and allowed to experience in the world of spirit and by continued connection with those in the earth realm the things that they most desire to experience. And, and so, and those souls will be counseled and loved and um, brought back into truth and awareness so that they feel peace again. But the souls that leave this planet in what we would call tragedies or accidents are absolutely leaving at the time their soul decided to leave. Even if they're a child, uh, even if they're right in the prime of their life, the soul makes the decision when we exit. So why would a mother get intuition to stay home? Here's my experience with that and I want to share this with you. What my guides have told me is that intuition comes as an awareness of what's to come. It does not come so that you can prevent an experience. It comes to give you guidance the awareness of the experience that is to come or to happen so that your soul basically is communicating with you and saying, be at peace. This experience is coming. It is predestined. It is pre-chosen by the soul. It will be challenging and difficult or painful for you. Uh, but the intuition comes to kind of give a heads up. It doesn't come to stop the event. You cannot stop an event that the soul has decided was meant to occur. If your intuition is so strong that it guides you to speak to someone about something and that speaking to someone encourages them to take a behavior or an action that they were meant to take, guess what? The soul made sure that happened. So it's a challenging thing to kind of chew on, but it does give you peace if you tune into it to know that nothing happens nothing can happen in this world without the permission of the person's soul 
which then takes us into, well, why would a soul ever choose a challenge? And then I did that from another question of the week, um, several questions ago, that to talk about why would the soul choose such a challenge in their life or tragedy or, you know, such a destructive experience. Um, and basically, short answer is because the soul is fearless. Because the soul craves adventure and expansion and experiences. And none of this frightens the soul. None of this scares the soul. It's just our personalities that get caught up and our egos that get caught up in survival, which is part of the journey. We are meant to want to live. We are meant to want to survive. That's part of the journey of being a human being. So I hope that answers your question, Debbie, um, and that it gives you some peace to know that you can't ever mess it up. As a mother, your intuition is there to guide you. Oh, I wanted to quick share a, a situation that happened with me. I think I've shared this before, but it was just so powerful. When my daughter was three years old, um, we were told she needed to have a tonsillectomy. And her, I mean, her tonsils were huge. She could barely talk. So um, I knew I had a massive intuition that she was going to ha hemorrhage. And I was terrified to let her have this surgery. But something in me said, this is really important. She has to have this surgery. You know, everything's going to be okay. Even though I knew she was going to hemorrhage, I also knew everything was going to be okay. So about nine, ten days post-op, uh, I remember thinking, wow, nothing happened. I was totally off about that. I'm really glad I was wrong. And on day 11, she woke up in the middle of the night crying. And I came into her room, and there was just blood pouring down the front of her. And I knew in that moment she was hemorrhaging. So I called 911. Interestingly enough, the firemen who arrived at our house were there in three minutes because they happened to be around the corner. They had just finished another call. And so they came into our house, scooped her up. We went right to the emergency room. The doctor happened to already be there, which was amazing too because he was an ENT doctor and they don't hang out at the hospital. So he was standing in the hallway waiting to receive her. They fixed it, and within 15 minutes of me calling 911, my daughter had been fixed. Um, it was a, a frightening, frightening experience, but while she was in the emergency room and they were dealing with her, I kept hearing that voice that said, she's going to be okay. So that's a great example of how intuition can come to you to kind of let you know, you know, something is meant to occur. Something is going to occur. It's part of the soul's plan. It's not going to be fun. You're not going to like it, but this is part of the path. And so to find peace in knowing that sometimes your intuition is there to simply tell you, heads up, not for you to change the path or to do anything about it. You'll know if you're supposed to share your intuition. You'll also know if you absolutely have to honor it. You know, seriously, your soul can interject and stop your car from starting if it needs to, to keep you from doing something that's going to have a catastrophic, you know, um, outcome. So you really can relax into your life. You can trust what's happening. You can trust all the interactions. Um, and the crap that happens to you. You can trust the crap that happens to you. It's there for a reason as well. You know, um, we tend to get into the mindset this the bad things only happen if I mess things up. If you can eliminate the idea of bad things happening and instead replace it with the idea of challenging things happening, you can see that from the soul's perspective, everything is good. Everything teaches, everything expands, even if it's uncomfortable. In fact, mostly when it's uncomfortable. So hope that helped. Hope that it gives you something to think about um, and pray about it for yourself. Take what sits with you. Let go of what doesn't. God bless.